everyone welcome back to the channel today we're back on a set of courses for today's video and back at Monza driving the Porsche Cayman Club Sport GT4 race car um, it's gonna be the final setup for this track for a while we're gonna move on to a different track maybe one with a little bit more corners and bumps and stuff that you really do need to get the setup sorted on um, I already know what track I'm gonna probably do but we'll wait for the first video to hit before I obviously show everyone um, anyway getting back to this setup um, fairly simple car to set up because it hasn't got much you can alter there's not much within the dampers you can change um, to obviously help with the corners and the bumps and the curbs etc it's all you've got pretty much is um, the suspension um, anti-roll bars cambers and toe so it's just about getting the balance of the car pretty pretty much sorted so it's very much a um, base kind of setup that you need to get right on this car you can't change the aero etc so it's one set of speed down the straights you will you can maybe get a little bit of extra speed working with the toes and the camber angles etc and that's what we've tried to do while maintaining a really balanced car through the corners and i think we've achieved a really nice setup and um, you may want to alter some things to give it a little bit more balance on the braking zones it all depends how you like the car to handle i obviously like to have the rear kick into the corners a little bit and give me some angle through the corner so i can get the power nice and early and um, but overall i'm really happy with setup and um, the, the world record on the rsr leaderboard for this car is at 157.2 this lap was very slightly off that but we made a slight error on the second chicane we didn't get the angle through the corner right i'd done it on a couple of goes where i just got it perfect and it gained me about two two to three times but it's just a tricky corner to get right in this car with the braking and um with the fact that you can't change much in terms of aero etc anyway we'll get onto this lap and we'll go through a very quick um track guide just to give you some pointers on the braking distances and the turning in points where we lost time where you might be able to gain time etc and then we'll go through to the setup and start pointing out some of the um the changes that me that we made and um, obviously the very basic changes you can make with this car to get it to where it is now <clears throat> so let's just have a little look at the lap and we'll talk you through it as we go through it so starting the lap obviously go through the lap final corner you want to get yourself out wide and get a nice tight angle as you get on the accelerator so you can get build maximum speed up without putting too much steering angle in to scrub speed off so then going over the start finish line the first corner we're going to look for is obviously the chicane up ahead and we're going to break you're gonna basically consciously break just as you hit the 150 so that by the time you hit the pedal you're a little bit past it but you've got to make sure you don't go too late or you'll just run straight on so you're gonna see now as we approach the 150 there hitting the brake hard then trail braking into the corner we lift off the brake slightly there down into second gear then be very early on the power but not too early that you spin the wheels you can see we really got the power nice and early there straighten the car up really well and got on the power then going into the next corner you're going to break just about just past the bridge again above your head um, tricky corner to get it exactly perfect we braked a little bit late which compromised our exit to the second part of the chicane you're going to see now i'd have rather have just got the car a little bit more slowed down then took a tighter line into this corner. you can see there we ran a little bit deep into the chicane didn't get the exit that i would have liked but it was an okay it was done okay just could have been a bit better then down into third gear for the first part of the lesmo try and keep the car as tight to the curb as you can and get on the power as early as you can keeping the car on the grippy part of the track then down into third gear as we hit the 50 board on the left and then get on the power really you can see we're back on the power there heart really nice early um, entry onto the power there and give us a lot of speed going down this straight you're going to see the ghost slowly start to appear in the mirror that's because we got on the power really early there and gained a little bit of time then we're going to look for the bridge above our head breaking down into third gear just as we see that bridge there down into third gear use some of the curb on the left hand side and then get on the power really early you can see how early we were on the power there flat through the throttle all the way through the corner pretty much just a little lift really give us a good speed down straight you can get in to see how much we gained on the ghost behind us there just on that corner there then we're going to look for the 100 board we're going to break a little bit past the 100 board with this car you can see so the 100 board appears there and then we're breaking our just past it down into third gear try and get the car nice and tight on the apex and get on the power as early as you can we didn't get as much rotation as i would have liked on the car there you can see we ran a little bit wide but we didn't lose too much time maybe just half a tenth if that then we go over the line and it's a one minute 57.3 just a tenth off the world record on the rsr leaderboard and um, i think if we would have got that second chicane sorted we would have been a few times faster but like i say i just wanted to get the setup out I'm not too worried about how fast the lap is um it's more about the setup anyway let's have a little look at the setup and the changes that we made um tire pressures right hand side needs to be high, a lot higher than the left with this car purely because they're going to run cold so you need to keep them in the pressure range of when when they're cold don't worry about when it's hot when you come out the pits if tire warmers are on it's more important that when they're cold they're in the green range 
because <coughs> you're never going to get the tyre warm on that right hand side with this track obviously and then obviously with the ABS we ran it on five but you might want to run that back down to four um cambers we ran quite low to try and get more speed you're going to notice the right hand side is slightly lower than the left hand side that's because obviously this is a clockwise track hardly any corners you're going to need the camera angles high on for um left hand corners so you run the left hand side a little bit higher to where the pressure is going to be taken on that tire for the right hand corners um, we obviously ran quite low toe angles as well. Um, with regards to brake pressure, 69. I tried 70, but it just gave me a bit too much on the steer. Um, 2 1 on the anti roll bars. That's strong on the front, um, really like, stiff on the front. It's middle on the back just to give us a bit more support on the rear when going over curbs and stuff. Um, you're going to see suspension. You can't do too many. It's only three settings. We went for the stiffest on the front, middle again on the rear, similar to the anti roll bars. And that's pretty much all you can do. So. We've got the Lamborghini sorted at this track. That's the setup for that. If you want to check that out on the channel, it's on my channel also. We have 911 Cup setup sorted. That's also on the channel. So if you want to check that out, make sure you go have a little look through the channel. It's on there. Um, Corvette C7R GTE. We've got that set up now. Uh, that lap time could have been a bit faster. That I think we could get that a bit faster. But as, like I say, the setup was more important. We also did the Alfa Romeo 155 Ti V6 DTM. That was a nice setup just off the world record time. And then also the R8 2016 GT3 Monza. We also have the Porsche 911 um, that was done a while ago. But we haven't got the picture for that at the moment. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave you with the replay that you can have a little watch of. Um, I really enjoy listening to this guy. It sounds really nice on the um, replay cameras. This guy so much better than other games in terms of sound effects this game. And then we're going to be back very soon. Hopefully early next week, maybe Monday or Tuesday, with a setup on a new track. Um it's going to be a track that I've not done many setups on, if any, on, on this game. I've done it on other games. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it. It'll be some new information of how I would set the car, but them tracks, uh, that track, etc. Anyway, guys, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe and, give, and click that notification button so you don't miss any air. Uh, on the uploads and um, remember we're uploading gt sport a set of course a project cars 2 and obviously as more games come out we'll be uploading more obviously a set of course competition when that comes out that is going to be a, a very um, important game on the channel um, anyway guys thanks again for watching and we'll be back with many more videos very soon Control!